Welcome back class. Today's video is going to look a little different from the other videos that we've um, watched in class, but hopefully you're able to follow along just as easily. Today's video is going to be about solving systems of inequalities. We've heard this word inequalities before and we've worked on graphing inequalities in the past. Um, it's been a little while back, but if you can remember, we had to graph the line. We had to decide should that line be a dotted line or should it be a solid line? And then finally we had to decide should we shade above the line or should we shade below the line for our solution? So if you remember that's how we graphed inequalities in the past. Today you're gonna have to use those same skills as we solve systems of inequalities. So you're gonna need to carry that paint bucket along with you. Don't leave it back there at the starting point. Carry that paint bucket along with you. Some of you might be asking, what is a system of inequalities? And just like a system of equations, like we've been working on for the past few weeks here, system of equations are two or more equations. Well, a system of inequalities is just two or more inequalities. And I'll show you what those look like in just a moment here. The next question that you might have is, what does the solution to a system of inequalities look like? And the solution to a system of equations was a point and usually it was a point like four comma three okay and that was the solution to a system of equations however on system of inequalities our solution is going to look a lot different first of all we're going to have to graph these so you're not just going to be able to write a point like four comma three that's not going to work instead we're going to have to draw a graph and our solution is going to be the overlapping region of points that satisfies both inequalities. And again, I'll show you what that looks like here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and try an example together. Here's a um, of a system of inequalities. Here are two inequalities. So what I need to do is I need to graph these two inequalities and see where they overlap. Okay. Again, you have to pay attention to those details. They definitely matter in this case. The first equation, let's do this equation in red. I'll draw red up here just to remind myself that that's the red equation. This equation, it's in um, slope-intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. My b is 1, so I'm going to start my point at 1. There we go. There's my first point. And then my slope is negative one-third. I'm going to get rid of that negative symbol, and I'm going to put it up top in the numerator. Okay? So now I know that I need to go down one and over three. Remember that our slope is rise over run. So since my rise is negative one, I'm going to go down one and then to the right three. So my next point is going to be right over here. There we go. It looks like if I went down one and over three again, I'd be off my graph. So I'm not going to draw another point there. Instead, I'm going to go up one, but instead of going to the right, then I'm going to have to go to the left three. So I'm going to draw another point over there. That looks pretty good. All right. Next, then, I need to decide, is this going to be a dotted line or is this going to be a solid line? And since there is no line underneath my alligator up there, if you look at my inequality sign, there it is. There's no equal sign underneath my alligator, so I'm going to have to draw a dotted line to connect these dots. So I'm just going to draw one. I don't have a straight edge or a ruler with me here, so pardon my sloppy lines, but I'm going to draw a dotted line to connect those dots. All right, so then the last thing that I need to decide is if I should shade above this line or below this line. And again, I have to look at that inequality sign, that alligator up there. This is a less than sign because the arrow is pointing to the left. So that's a less than sign. So I want to shade everything less than the line. I want to shade everything below the line. So I'm just going to do simple shading here. Everything below the line, I'm going to shade in red.
Okay, so that's the solution to that first inequality. Okay, let's look at the second inequality now, and I'm going to put that one in blue, so I'm going to mark it up here in blue, just to remind myself that that's the blue one. Again, this one is in slope-intercept form, so I can look for my um, y-intercept, which is in negative 2, so that's where I'm going to put my first dot. Is that negative 2? That looks pretty good there. Then my slope again is negative 4 thirds. So I'm going to cross out this negative sign again, and I'm going to move it up to my numerator. Now my numerator is negative 4. So to find my next point, I'm going to have to go down 4. And when I go down 4 from that negative 2, my next point is off the graph again. Darn it. So instead of going down 4, I'm going to have to go up 4. If I go up 1, 2, 3, 4... And then instead of moving to the right like I normally do, I'm going to have to move to the left three. One, two, three. There is my second point. And if I went up four again, I'd be off the graph again. So those are the only two points that are going to fit on my, on my graph here, which is okay. That's fine. The next thing that I need to do is look at my inequality symbol, and I need to decide, should I draw a dotted line? or a solid line. And since there's a line underneath my alligator, there's an equal sign underneath my alligator, this is going to be a solid line. And again, I don't have a straight edge with me, so pardon my sloppy lines here, but I'm going to connect these dots. Close enough for this example, that'll work. Okay, so I'm almost complete now. The next thing that I need to decide is should I shade above this line or should I shade below this line and this time when I look at that inequality symbol up here I look at my alligator my alligator is um, well my arrow is pointing towards the right okay so this is a greater than symbol so I want to shade in everything greater than my line I want to shade everything above my line okay so I'm gonna shade above my line okay so I shade everything above the line and now I've graphed both of those inequalities so the solution to this system when I'm looking at these equations as a system as as a combination my solution is going to be where the answers overlap or where the red and the blue shading are overlapped and that's going to be this section here this little triangle section right there I'm going to shade that in a little darker just so I can see it myself this section is where my answer lies And systems of inequalities are a little different than systems of equations. In systems of equations, just one point was your solution. That was your answer. But in systems of inequalities, any point that's in that shaded area is my answer. My answer could be this point right here. 3 comma negative 1. That's one solution to my system of inequalities. It could be this point over here. 0 comma negative 1. That's also a solution to this, in, this system of inequalities. So anywhere in there is my answer. Okay, and one thing that you want to jot down in your notes probably is anytime I have a symbol like this or like this, those symbols mean shade below okay I'm trying to make you a little cheat sheet here on the other hand anytime you have a symbol like this or like this notice the alligators just facing the other way those symbols mean shade above Okay, so that's kind of the difference that you're going to have to keep in mind. Again, if you need to make yourself a little cheat sheet, 
especially for now while we're just working on these practice problems. That's perfectly okay. That's good. All right, so let's try one more example before I cut you loose on some for you to try by yourself. Here we go. Here's another system of inequalities. Here are two inequalities. So I need to graph these two inequalities and see where they overlap. Let's again do this first inequality in red. Just indicate up there that this is the red one. My y-intercept is negative 2. So on my graph, I'm going to put a point at negative 2 on my y-axis. This time my slope is 1 half, so every time I go up 1, I'm going to go to the right 2. Let's see if I can draw a dot. It's harder to draw a dot than you would think. Up 1, over 2, up 1, over 2. Looks like I'm running out of room. So instead of going up 1, I could go down 1, but then I'd have to go to the left 2. I'd have to go over here. Do another one, down 1, over 2. All right, next then I need to decide, should this be a solid line or should this be a dotted line? And since there's no line underneath my alligator, this is going to be a dotted line. I'm going to go ahead and draw my dotted line here, connecting these dots. There's my dotted line. And next I just need to decide, should I shade below this line or should I shade above this line? Since my inequality sign is a less than sign, I'm going to shade everything less than my line or everything below my line. There we go. I've finished the first inequality. Let's move on to the second inequality. I'm going to do this one in blue so you can see the difference. In this inequality, my y-intercept is 1, positive 1, so I'm going to put a point there at 1. This time my slope is 2, or if I had to write that as a fraction, I could write it as 2 over 1. So that means my rise is 2, I'm going to go up 2, and my run is 1, I'm going to go to the right 1. So there's a point. My next point, I'd have to go up 2 and over 1 again. I ran out of room on my graph there, so I'm going to go back to my original point, and instead of going up 2, I could go down 2, but then I'd have to go to the left 1. And again, I could go down 2, whoops, and to the left 1. And I can fit one more down 2 and to the left 1. Okay, so when I look at the inequality symbol for this one, it does have a line underneath the alligator. So this is greater than or equal to, which means I need to draw a solid line connecting these dots. So not dotted, it's going to be a solid line. Okay. And then finally, the last thing that I need to do is I need to decide, should I shade above this line or should I shade below this line? So I look at that inequality, I look back at my cheat sheet, if I have to look at my cheat sheet, this symbol is greater than or equal to, so I'm going to shade everything greater than the line or everything above the line. So here's my line, I'm going to shade everything above it. This is probably my favorite part, I love shading these things in. Alright, so I've graphed and shaded both of these inequalities. Now I just look for the portion of the graph where it's shaded twice, where the shading overlaps. And that's this little tiny triangle down here in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to do it in black so that you can see it a little better. And that is where the solution of this system of inequalities lies, is in that black little triangle down there. All right, I hope that that helps you out a little bit. You've got two more examples in your notes to try out on your own. Um, please refer back to this video if you have questions about how to do it. And we will go over the answers of those two in class. Um, good luck, and I hope it comes easy to you. Thanks. Bye.